Yeah. Well done, everyone. My name is Olawale, and I want to walk you through as you can upgrade your Infinix Auto Note Pro. Yeah. So before you upgrade it, you have to download the the firmware that is available on the internet. You can just go to Google and and do what and type in the Infinix and try and as you can see over here, you can see the exact the exact this. If I show if I should go to scatter loading to locate the file as you can see this is the this is this is it if it is x551 g h o h b c l 2015-0828 so it must be this exact that you are going to download so once you have it and you've downloaded it so you just gonna do something you're just gonna come right here open your air speed flash too you have to download SP Flash 2 and after you've downloaded the SP Flash, you just come here and always remember you have to install all the necessary drivers. I'm sure you have all those already. So this is just a walkthrough to show you how you are going to do it. So you are going to run it as administrator and click yes. So once this this is right here because I've already done for so many so you are going to remove the so you are going to click you won't plug in your phone yet you will just click family upgrade you click download and you plug in your phone and you leave it so you don't touch the phone you leave it so it's going to do everything so you don't you don't touch the usb cord you are like to download everything see it's on firmware upgrade never forget this <sighs> and don't forget you have to do what you have to you have to back up your files before you do this because once you are done with that you need to you need to get your files back so you just copy or um, paste back or uh, and don't forget also you have you have to unroot your phone if it has been rooted because a rooted room won't work once you've rooted your 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 infinite auto note pro you have to unroot it unroot it to remove your super user or king root or anyone that you use you can also you can use king root to unroot your phone so once you've unrooted your phone then you can now proceed to this and if you are using clockwork mode recovery to to run your room before you do this upgrade you have to remove it because it needs a stock room for it to work so you have to remove it everything you can always find it on the internet just google it you download it so we we'll just wait for this to run to 100% and we'll be ready to move on to the next level. Let's see. You see? These are the details. So we just have to wait to. So this is the MediaTek Reloader USB Bcom. So you must you must have done this. There are, there are videos on it and websites that, that explain this a lot. So this shows that I have successfully upgraded my phone. So that's that will be all for now. And once you are done with that, you just go on your phone. You make sure you have internet subscription or you go or you you use a Wi-Fi. So if you use a Wi-Fi, then you can just log on to it and click on upgrade. It's going to upgrade twice. So the first upgrade, after the first upgrade, the second one, and you are good to go. And I think you can now enjoy your your material designed Infinix Hot Note Pro with your Lollipop Android version. Thank you. Take care.